Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a rainbow LGBTQ plus love prediction reading for Aquariuses for August 7th through August 13th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your partner's energy, or your significant other's energy. Or whomever is in your, or someone else is in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, kind, fun, sweet, sensitive Aquariuses. Show me, spirit guys, what's going on with my aquas. Let's see, aquas, what you got going on? Two of swords. Oof, three of swords. <laughs> Six of cups, I see what this is about. Seven of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands. First of all, the Two of Swords leads your reading. You're indecisive. You're indecisive because let me tell you what has happened. Your partner, whomever you in your love space, they've broken your heart before. Um... And here you are back at the same place that, you, that you've that you been in the past. This is someone that has broken your heart before. This is not someone new. But you know, it's like they break your heart, but you you let them back in every time. I'm being very honest. But the two of swords here means that you're you're indecisive about this, uh, that letting them come back this time. And let me, let me be very honest with you. The two of swords is being stuck. Just being indecisive, don't know what to do because your heart space is still with them. But every time, you know, when people show you who you are, you should believe her. You should believe this woman because every time she breaks your heart, it's like it's not like it's anything new. She breaks your heart every time, but you let her back. You keep letting her back. This two of swords means you're indecisive. But here, here's this heartbreak card, with this, which is the three of swords. Uh, you, you're heartbroken. You're always she always breaks your heart, unfortunately. And then here's the six of cups is in the middle of your reading. You know what the six of cups means? There's reunions. There's you're getting back together with her. It's it's a constant cycle. What you I mean, you know, when people show you who you are and who they are, as I told you, you need to believe her. You need to believe her. If she's comfortable with breaking your heart and comfortable with coming back to you because she knows you're gonna be right there and you're gonna take her back. But uh oh, I, I see a little bit of a twist this time though. I'm gonna be very honest. Um, there's a little bit of thinking beyond just that you love her and that's, you know, yada and all the good stuff. Uh, because here's the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles is all about growth. It's about growth. It's about, you know, you've given her opportunities before and, you know, she has she changed? Has this person changed? Because that Seven of Pentacles means it's, you, you've grown. You've matured, and you tried to watch her to see if she was going to mature. So it's about you've you've grown, you you dropped you've stood back and seen and, and tried to look and see if she was going to um, stay with you, um, even though you you know you stuck right there with her. But did she stay with you? Did she do that, or did she deceive you again and go on about her business? And it was like, who are you? I'm just being very honest. She's very flippant. She's very, you know why she's like that though? Because you let her come back every time. She's very flippant. You know, you know, she's like that because you let her come back. You always let this woman come back. Then you have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands is um, about issues. You know, Ten of Wands is burdens. But for me, it's always, it's about issues. And you, you know what I think it is more than anything else for you? You let this woman come back because something is lacking in you. There's something. There's something. Oh, she and she knows that. She knows that you're the weaker one. Because there's something in you that's lacking. What well, is lack of self esteem? Perhaps you know you're excited uh, and feel like she wants to be with you. But she wants to be with you and other people too. 
But like I said, there's lack of self-esteem here. There's something here that um, allows you to let this woman come back because you know she has issues too, but you have the bigger issues because you keep letting her come back. Self-esteem, I don't know. Do you think you're not uh, pretty enough? Do you think you're not good enough for her? Do you think, um, I don't know, you don't have enough money. I don't know, whatever. You need to figure out what these issues are. You need to figure out what these issues are and grow because you keep letting somebody come back that keeps doing the same thing over and over to you, breaking your heart. So if this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. I want to clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guides want us to know. Who is this woman that keeps breaking your heart? And who is this woman that you keep letting come back to break your heart? So just sit back, give me three to five minutes, let me clarify the reading for you. Show me, Spirit Guides, why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh, I have the Fool card. Fool card is a brand new beginning. Stepping off the edge again. Brand new beginning. Doing the same thing, expecting different results, but hey, nonetheless, it's the Fool card is there. Two of Swords, like I said, means indecisive, but I see you making another journey down Love's Highway with this uh, heartbreaker. So let's see why the Three of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Three of Swords here? Show me. Judgment. You're going to get back with her. Here's this Judgment card. This Judgment card is all about a realization. It's a realization, but you know what? When people show you who they are, believe, you, believe them, I'm telling you. But here, she breaks your heart. And you know you even have the, when you see judgment card here, you're very aware that she may break your heart again. But it's something about it. You keep going back to her. You keep letting her come back. Let's see why the Six of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Six of Cups here for my aquas? Show me why the Six of Cups is here. Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is all about having fun, having good times. And that's what keeps you with, whenever you're with this person. I don't know, I'm trying to say the sign, who this person's sun sign is, but I don't see it. But whenever um, you're with this person, with you know, that's why you give her time and time again. It's fun. And I think that's what, I, when I say there are issues over here, you need to find some other things to, um, hobbies, some other things um, to fill up your life. Because... I feel like this person comes back and she makes your life fun that's been boring. That uh, perhaps, um, or you just you just like that. You like the spontaneity she has. There's something that she has that makes it exciting for you. That's why you keep coming back. I'm not quite sure that you're bored with your life. Because um, Aquariuses tend to do their own thing. They tend to be in their own world. But this person has somehow penetrated your world. And whenever she's around, there's always fun and good times. And this is why the Six of Cups is here as well. But after the fun, what happens? You know, what happens once after it's over? After it's over, after she's been back in your life and she decides to move on to someone else, what happens? That's why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Because you've grown and you're trying to just sit back and watch and see what she's going to do. What is she going to do this time? So let's see why the Seven of Pentacles. Will she stay with you? Will she move on? Let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Eight of Cups. She's going to walk away. Come on, Aquarius. Look at that. She's going to walk away again. Because you keep letting her come back. That Eight of Cups. Come on. She's walking away again. She comes in just enough to fill up your world with love and fun and laughter. And then guess what? She, moves, she walks away again. But you know why it's so easy for her? And I'll be very honest with you. It's because of you. You let her. You let her come back every time. So let's see why this Ten of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Show me. Page of Swords. Page of Swords is all about communication. It's over this Ten of Wands, these issues. Um, but, you know, it's all about communication. You and this person communicate continually, even when she, after she walks away. You know, she you, you always have conversations with her. I, always, I also see that she's a good communicator. And you like that. You enjoy that. She communicates very well. Um, but in addition with the Page of Swords being here over this, uh, this issues card, this Ten of Wands, you know, you know, 
there's a saying that said, a better the devil you know than the devil you don't. In other words, stand with someone because you know their issues. And I do believe that's one of the things with you. I mean, it's almost like you say, hey, I know she's like this. I know she may break my heart. But every time, but I know her issues. In other words, you know who she is. You know who she is, so you're comfortable with who she is. But you're really not comfortable with her breaking your heart every time, though. Let me let me read this to you. Let me show you. Let's start the two of swords. You're indecisive. If you were comfortable, if you were comfortable, this card would not be here. Um, but this is an indecisive card. But guess what? You give her another chance. There's a fool card. You're going to jump off this cliff one again, once again for this woman. But here's this three of swords. She's going to break your heart again and again and again and again. Here's a judgment card here, too. You are aware of that. You, you know she's going to break your heart again because you keep letting her come back. This is not the first time. Let me think this is the second time. You know this woman. It's like you guys break apart and come back together, but you always hold a place for her. You play. It's like, you know, we're having a break in our relationship. You know how people talk about a break? You have a lot of breaks in your relationship with this woman, but yet you keep coming back. You must make up your mind whether you're going to take the hurt when she comes back. Or are you, I mean, are you going to take the hurt when she breaks up for you? Or are you going to accept her coming back? And you keep doing that because here's the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is you. The Six of Cups is you. Six of Cups is you giving her another chance, coming back together because she comes back to you every time. Every time she goes out and does her thing, she comes right back to you and you allow her to come back. Then also I have the three of three of cups, which means you have a good time with this woman. You and this woman have great times together. That's the that's a, a good thing and a bad thing because she is sponta spontaneous. You like that because you know, of course, you like to do your thing too. She knows, and you know another thing that I think she doesn't she doesn't ex ex uh, expect a lot from you. There's no expectations here. And I understand that, but it's still heartbreak because she still leaves you, you know? you There's no expectation. You know how you are, Corey. You like to have your own life, do your own thing. I understand, but with this person, you understand that she comes and she goes and she goes and she's with other women. So here's the Seven of Pentacles. Here you are trying to just sit back and see, trying to drop seeds. Trying, you've done things to show her what that you are, you want to be committed to her. But guess what she's doing once again? Because you never can get a relationship going totally with her. Because here she is walking away again. She's going to leave you again. Here's a ten of wands. You got issues. Issues. But you know, like I said, it's always with this page of swords. You always communicate with this woman. There's constant communication with her regardless. But like I said, it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't. You keep giving this woman chance after chance after chance. It's up to you. You must make up your mind. So let's see. Show me spirit guides. Remember, when people show you who they are, believe them. What do my oracles say? Well, straight out the back, the oracles say, that's what you can't get to. Is that I, have, I hope to have a future with you one day. But you're not having a future with her because she walks away because you keep letting her walk and come back. You don't give her any boundaries. You let her keep coming back. And this is how this relationship keeps cycling over and over again. A break, get back together. Break up, make up. That's how it is. You have to give her boundaries.